What is up Neophytes? My name is Alan aka Neocryptor and today we are doing something a little bit different. It's been about two weeks since the Aberration DLC has was finally released in major anticipation by a lot of people, myself included. Now that it has been out for two weeks, yeah, we've been having our fun. We've been doing all kinds of things. There's been a ton of videos about all kinds of different subjects over Aberration and the designs that dwell within the depths of Aberration. Well, I still have a couple of questions and today we're going to try and answer just a couple of those questions. So one of the things I've been wondering is can you breed aberrant dinos with their island cousins, the non-aberrant varieties? And also it always feels to me that aberrant dinos do not take as much fall damage. Now that may just be my perception because I don't know, I haven't tried, I haven't tested, we have not compared yet. So that is what today is about. Because of that, it will be a short video, but hopefully it's going to answer some questions for me. And hopefully some of you out there are like-minded and have the same questions. In fact, if you guys have any questions you would like me to do a video, we're gonna try to some experiments and try and figure out with Aberration or with any of the ARC uh, DLCs, maps, base game, etc. Let me know down in the comments below and I'll be happy to explore that and try and figure it out together. All right, guys, for today's little experiment, we are going to be checking out the aberrant Megalosaurus and its island cousin, the regular Megalosaurus. I have spawned in two level 150s with a perfect tame, which brought them both out to 225. Their stats are a little bit different because they are a male and female variant of the species. Uh, obviously we need that for the, uh, you know, the breeding test. So hopefully that won't askew our findings too much. In a perfect world, we'd be able to test with two identical specimens, but because of the way Ark spawns dinos in, that is next to impossible to achieve. So, uh, you know, pardon the improper science and the improper variables and the, you know, but I think we should be able to come to a conclusion. All right, guys, let's get this rolling. All right, guys, so as I said in the intro, I kind of have a few questions about aberrant dinos versus their normal cousins over on the island and scorched earth and Ragnarok. So uh, yeah, that's what we're here today to find out. And our test uh, subjects are going to be this Megalosaurus, this plain Jane, normal Megalosaurus, and the aberrant Megalosaurus. Obviously, the very first difference is the uh, island-bound cousin is fast asleep because the sun is up. Whereas our uh, aberrant friend here, she is bright-eyed and bushy tails. By the way, guys, everything is set to vanilla standards, it is set to official rates, official difficulty, everything like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, this guy has, or this gal has 8,200 health, no points spent. And this guy has 7,100, no points spent. Now that's going to be important later, actually. So uh, might make a note of that. Might make a note of that. Would you stop looking at me? Jeez. So the first thing I really want to find out, which I probably, I'm pretty sure I know the answer to already, is can you breed an aberrant dino with a normal dino? So to do that, obviously, we're going to need to wake up our friends here and uh, put them on follow for the moment. So yeah, wake up. Wake up. Yeah, you, you've been asleep. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. And let's go ahead and see what happens when we try, shall we? Behavior, enable wandering. And now let's just whistle. Not even interested, are you? Not even interested. Well, I've never bred Megalosaurus, so that might just be a sign that it is sleepy and doesn't want to do it during the day. So bear with me. Oh, oh, bear with me. Let's wait until nighttime and we'll try that part again. All right, guys, let's try that one more time now that it's nighttime. So we have them both on follow. They're, they should both still be on wandering. So let's see what happens, if anything. Somehow, I doubt it. She just, you, you, you're just going back to sleep. Really? You're going back to sleep. It's midnight. Wake up. Get up. She just, la he, he's just lazy. You know, you know how guys are. We don't want to get up until we're darn ready to get up. So, hmm. 
No moving. Let's wait until uh, it wakes up, I suppose. All the way awake. Y you good now? H have you got your beauty sleep? You feel refreshed? Well, that's actually kind of interesting to note, too. It seems that even though it is nighttime, that our friend here is getting sleepy rather quickly. And it's, let's see, it is three in the morning. Hmm. That's interesting to note. So let's go ahead and try it one more time. Nope. So my conclusion is no, you cannot breed aberrant dinos and, uh, and their island bound cousins. Oh, don't push me off. That, that will just, uh, that will make me upset. We, we don't want to do that. We do not want to do that. So the next thing is obviously as I've been playing Aberration, one thing I've noticed is things do not seem to take a heck of a lot of fall damage in Aberration. At least it doesn't seem like it. So I kind of want to test to see. What are you doing? Oh, now you get up. Are you kidding me? Really? Seriously? Whatever. <laughs> so I also want to see if uh, Aberrant Dinos do indeed take less fall damage than their than their cousins here so what we're going to do to figure that out is i have wrote down both of their health their health stats and we're going to figure out the percentage of how much damage they take and the reason i chose the megalosaurus guys is just because they seem to be the most different from their island bound cousins as they don't go to sleep in fact you cannot put them to sleep you can tell it to stay awake you can but you cannot tell it to go to sleep you cannot tell it anything like that so that is just that is a you know a big difference it may seem minor but trust me it's kind of cool kind of a big difference so yeah we're up here on this platform as you can see it there it is quite a distance down so we definitely should take uh <clears throat> take some fall damage so we're going to test here start the test here with our aberrant megalosaurus and we're going to see how much fall damage it actually takes and then we're going to come back up here and we're going to check it out on the regular one so I'm going to jump off and we are going to see what the number is when it hits the bottom. Are you ready? Let's count it down. One, three, wait, I never was good at counting. Okay. And 4,039. Let me just jot that down real quick. 4,039. So that, um, 4,039. Pretty sure that's what it was. Let's take a quick peek. It's not gonna heal that fast anyway. Yeah, 4,039. Okay, so it took roughly 50%, roughly 50% from that fall, which is really bloody high. Really bloody high. All right, so I will meet you guys back up top and uh, we'll wait till night so the other one is nice and beefy and awake for this. Well, yeah, we'll need it awake for this and we'll test again. All right, guys, it is nighttime, so let us take her for a little spin, shall we? Same as before. You know, in a perfect world, we'd have identical stats, but sadly, yeah, it's not a perfect world, so we work with what we got. So let's go ahead and do the same thing as before. All right, 71, 75 to nothing? Nothing, nothing, Trollala? What, what happened? Hmm. Hey, let's try that one more time. I double checked. The infinite stats are not on. God mode is not on. I use stamina getting back up here. So I don't know what that was. Let's let's um do it again with gusto. There we go. 35062. So it looks like as I write that down on my notepad over here. Yeah, I, I you know what? I don't even need to do the math. That was about 50%. So it looks like it doesn't matter that whether it's an aberrant dino or a normal dino, dino, they do actually take the same fall damage. So apparently it was just my perception that was askew because I don't know. And maybe it's just the Ravagers. I know Ravagers probably do take less fall damage because, well, they're Ravagers. They're designed for this kind of environment. But yeah, it's um, I, I that's actually kind of a surprising result to me. It really is. I don't know why, but it is. 
So our little Megalosaurus experiment, I think that paid off. We, I learned, at least I learned, hopefully some of you learned too, and answered maybe a question for you guys. Uh, Cause I, I figured somebody out there had to have the same questions I did. And uh, hopefully you got the answers as well as I did that you cannot breathe them. And they do actually take the exact same amount of fall damage, no matter whether they're their aberrant version or the Islander cousins. All right, guys. By the way, if you guys have any questions uh, of this or like these that you would like to answer, like me to answer or to investigate, let me know in the comments down below. I'd, I'd love to check it out myself to see what kind of weird questions you guys have about Aberration versus the other expansions, DLCs, base game, whatever you want to call it. Because uh, yeah, there's a lot of questions out there. I know the game has been out for, or the ex DLC has been out for you know a couple weeks now, but there's always questions left unanswered. And uh, I'd love to know what your guys' questions are. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little short little video. And uh, until next time, this is Neo, and I'll see you in game. Oh, and if you're new, make sure you subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to help us out, you want to support the channel, there are options to do that. You can become a YouTube sponsor. Next time I'm streaming, you can follow me on Twitch. I'm close to being an affiliate over there. Or you can also join our Patreon, where we have a really great community in my Discord. The patrons I have are all amazing freaking people, man. I, I can't say enough. And yeah, that's it. All right, guys, I'm out. Until the next one, see you guys later. Bye.